Welcome to today's 10 a.m. Collider Coffee Break, where we just take a few minutes on a Friday morning to let you know what we have been up to at Collider this week. So I will send it to Jamie this morning to start us off. So thanks so much. Um, I think this week was a, a pretty productive week for us here at Collider. We, we actually uh, sat down on Monday and did some strategic planning, which was a great process. So thank you to Amanda for helping out with that. I think we've really started to hone in on what, what we can deliver here in the next uh, three quarters uh, before the end of 2021, if you can imagine that. So really excited about what we have uh, coming up and really excited about uh, the work we've done so far, which has been actually very, very impressive. So thank you to the entire team who has really stepped up to make this work possible on behalf of Rochester's entrepreneurs. I also want to put in a plug for our 1 million cups uh, that will be next week at Wednesday at 9 a.m. That's a great opportunity to get to hear from two entrepreneurs in our ecosystem who are uh, growing their businesses and asking for your support, not in dollars, not in, but really asking uh, to overcome a challenge that they have with their business right now. So I think it's a great opportunity to help an entrepreneur out. So I would highly recommend uh, 1 Million Cups Rochester Wednesday at 9 a.m. And that's really all I have for this week. So with that, I'm going to send it over to Eric to tell us what he's been working on this week. Hello, everyone. Um, this week, my article on Mr. Tini Adu and his business Pretzel Digital got published. So it's right on the Rochester Rising website. So be sure to check it out. Um, I also featured for a couple of minutes in the podcast as well, talking about like some of the ideas behind why and how I wrote the story. So there's also that. Um, I'm currently, right, I got the opportunity to interview Mr. Chris Loving, one of our um, Collider ecosystem navigators. And I got to um, learn a lot about his business. And for this week, I'll for this week, I'm writing the, his skip story and some of his perspectives of how he developed his business in the time of coronavirus pandemic and how he overcame a lot of the adversities that were presented to him while trying to emerge as a business. So um, that story will be published next week. So be sure to look out for that as well. All right. As for other stories on Rochester Rising this week, this week on the podcast, we talked to Brianna Pirtle of Fox and Fern Floral. This is a great conversation we had with Brianna on the podcast, as well as in an article that came out on Rochester Rising yesterday, really talking about how she views risk taking, how she views failure, and how she's never been afraid of taking chances and kind of falling forward. So it was a great conversation with Brianna. So check it out on the podcast, which you can catch on our website, as well as on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, really wherever you listen in to your podcast it is there. And you can check out all of these stories on our website at rochesterrising.org. And we'll also have links to them in our show notes. So I wanted to say as well, we've been um, slowly sharing some videos that we recorded with our ecosystem navigators, I believe in February, I can't even remember when we recorded them at this point. Um, but I think they're really important because they showcase what Collider is, what the Ecosystem Navigator program is and the types of questions that the Ecosystem Navigators are being asked and that you could go to them uh, to, to be addressed. So check out those videos. They are all up on the Collider YouTube page, but we are slowly releasing them over the next few weeks on the Collider Facebook and Instagram. So check it out. Um, last week, we featured a video from Julio, and we'll have another video from Chris that we're running uh, today on Collider social media. And lastly, I wanted to say we've been really planning and ramping up our events here at Collider. You know, so far, they've been virtual. I think the hope is in the near future, they'd be able to be in person, at least in a small group. We did have our food business panel a few weeks ago, which you can also find that conversation on Collider's YouTube channel. And our next event will be on June 15th, talking about marketing, branding, and especially how to market your business on little to no budget. So look for more information and registration to come out about that in the upcoming weeks. So that's it for me. I'll send it to Jamie for his final thoughts today. Starting Saturday, 
Give Minnesota will open up its portal for its spring forward giving. And Collider wants to play a big role uh, in that. And we hope that you will also play a big role in supporting our work here, here at Collider. Um, our goal is to actually raise $30,000. I know that's an ambitious goal, but I just want to, you know, try to relate why we're trying to raise this money. And really it comes to uh, helping to sustain and support our entrepreneurial ecosystem through the work of Amanda, myself, our navigators, trying to find a way to sustain uh, what has been kicked off by awesome support from the Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation and giving us a grant to get started. That grant sunsets in December. So as we start to think about 2022, uh, we need to start really making an investment in how we're going to be sustainable uh, in that 2022 timeframe. So this is our first step. You'll see more steps here in the year as the year unfolds. But you know, we would appreciate if you would consider uh, if you've ever been helped, supported, uh, had great stories told about you, yourself or your business uh, to consider Collider during these 11 days from May 1st to May 11th. So we'll have a link in the show notes uh, where you can uh, view our site and check out uh, all the ways that you can support Collider here uh, during this campaign. So on behalf of myself and our entire team, thank you for uh, being a supporter of Collider in the past, and we hope to, that you continue to support Collider in the coming year. And with that, I'll send it back to Amanda. Right, thanks everyone for tuning in to our 10 a.m. Collider coffee break this morning. It's always a huge help to us if you like this video, and please share it with at least one person that you think could benefit from something that we talked about today. So thanks for spending just a few minutes of your morning with us, and we'll have a brand new coffee break next Friday.